Hey everyone and welcome to Isms by Josie. Today I'm going to be kind of doing a transfer um, foil nail gel tutorial. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in and for my new viewers, please consider subscribing, share, hit that like button, leave a comment below and click on that notification bell for future videos. So I'm just going to be taking Born Pretty's gel color CG028 and I'm going to be applying two coats of this on two nails today. I'm going to be doing two examples of how to use this transfer foil nail glue. So I um, am doing this tutorial for um, somebody and um, this is just how I do my transfer foil nail glue. There's different um, kinds from different brands and each one acts differently. And uh, once you think that you have a brand you like that works, um, you also have to factor in the uh, foils because not every foil acts the same way. So um, transfer foils can be a bit uh, frustrating at times, but sometimes um, it ends up working well. So um, once I get these uh, painted up, I'm going to show you how I do them. It's really simple and if you have a nice pretty foil, it's a great way to, um, you know, just create a special design on your nail without having to do too much work. Um, today I have uh, some marble nail foils that I'm going to use that I think are going to work well against this um, green color. So again, I'm just doing two coats of this Born Pretty um, color gel CG028. As you guys know, I am an affiliate with Born Pretty, so go check out the description box for um, my reference link as well as my 10% discount code. Uh, it'll definitely help me out. And um, I just happen to have a ton of Born Pretty products and I do like um, the Born Pretty Transfer Foil Nail Gel. I think the first one that I've used was from a cart and I thought that worked well. But then once I received this um, Transfer Foil Nail Gel from Born Pretty, I um, felt that it did work better than the McCart one. Um, and again, there's so many brands that make this transfer foil nail gel. So um, feel free to test others out. If you prefer one brand than, than this one, then that's fine. But um, seems like I'm just going to be working with Born Pretty today. Okay, so... Um, I don't even know how many passes I've made with this color yet. I think this is the last one. <laughs> and I'm doing this in real time. Again, I'm doing this video to help a friend out. Um, so I actually didn't speed up anything here today. And I want to be able to hopefully verbally describe what I'm doing in a clear way. Because <laughs> um, I tend to kind of stumble with my English, <laughs> with my native language, uh, when I'm trying to do something serious sometimes. Um, but yeah, I like, I love this color, uh, and it needs two coats. I'm a one coat person. If there's a, a gel that takes one coat, I think that's the best thing in the world, but most of them take two. So these took two. Now, I want to make sure that this nail has no sticky anything, um, so I want to take some nail cleanser and a lint-free wipe and just make sure I wipe off um, that sticky layer because we are going to be uh, using the transfer foil to stick to the nail and it is sometimes sensitive enough to stick to a sticky layer. So here I am using the transfer foil nail gel. And um, I am going to uh, do like a French tip on a bias. So I'm going to do this in an angle. And I thought that would be like a really cute way to kind of have um, part of the tip as the marble foil and then the rest of the nail as that beautiful green. So I'm just going to take my brush. And I normally I tape it up, but I'm not going to go super crazy 
with this. I'm just trying to show how the transfer foil uh, nail gel works so that um, they can uh, do this at home. I don't think they're going to be whipping out no special stickers or tape with scissor to make their um, designs look like this. Um, transfer foil nail gel could be organic. You don't need to go super um, straight line with this. So that's why I'm doing two nails today. Um, this one's going to be kind of, I'm trying to do this as straight as I can without any tools because most of us, again, are not going to be whipping out tape and scissors and stuff. So um, I'm just going to paint up a straight line um, on a bias going down this nail. And that's pretty much it. And then the other nail I am going to do like some filigree and um, see if that works. So like I said, um, different brand names work differently. Some brand names work better than the others. I, I honestly only have two other brands. I have Macar and Born Pretty. And um, yes, yeah, so now I'm taking my little paw palette. Um, and I put some transfer foil nail gel on there so that I can paint up some filigree on my nail. Um, but yeah, so some brands act differently, um, and some foils act differently. So, um, I'm going to be honest, I did struggle a little bit, especially with the filigree. Um, you know, when it comes to painting up a solid trans, um, a solid, piece of transfer foil nail gel on your nail it's a lot easier than um doing these you know detailed lines that i'm doing here because the foil is trying to stick to it and the more um uneven surfaces uh different sizes you know the foil I don't know, it just gets temperamental like that, especially if it's a tiny or thin line. Um, so you'll see the differences. And once you understand how your foil works and how your transfer foil nail gel works, um, you'll be able to know what you can and cannot do with foils. <laughs> And actually, I've only used foils about a handful, a handful of times, so I kind of know what it can do. This is probably the first time that I'm doing this filigree with the transfer foil nail gel, and I'm going to be attempting to put the foil on there and see what happens. <laughs> So, but not, um, is all lost in this. If it turns out terrible, there's like ways that you can fix it. Um, and I'll go through that once we cure these, um, nails up and we move on to the next step. Um, while I'm waiting for this to cure, how about you guys comment below your experiences using transfer foil nail gel and any tips or anything that you do when using this stuff. So here's my foil. You want to know that this matte side that doesn't really have the picture is going to be the side that you stick onto the um, the the nail. And <laughs> as you saw, that transfer foil nail gel when it's cured is pretty sticky. So it's a good thing that it landed on the wrong side because nothing happened. But again, the matte side is going to lie flat on your nail like this and you're just going to rub it in that area that you put the transfer foil nail gel on and I'm using a silicone um, stick I guess this is called I don't know and I'm just rubbing the foil in there making sure that it really adheres to that gel and if you don't have a silicone um, stick, you can use a number of things. I'm going to show you um, that you can use an orange stick or, an, or aka a cuticle stick. Um, you could also use your own nail to scratch it in. So it's not going to be like, you know, you need special tools. You just need something that's going to help you flatten out this foil onto that section so that it sticks to it. And then we're going to peel it off. Okay, so I'm going to be getting my orange stick. 
and I'm going to be using that. I mean, sometimes I feel like this works better, especially around the edges because it's a harder um, stick and then the silicone and I can really get down and press down and scratch that on. You can see that it's already coming off um, from the strip of um, foil. So at least we know it's working well, <laughs> even though I'm getting off frame here. But yeah, you just want to get um, every crevice or every surface piece that you painted that transfer foil nail glue on. Because um, if you don't, you're going to feel like the spaces you missed are going to be sticky. I mean, we're going to top coat this later anyway, but if you don't end up top coating, you're just going to have a sticky section and it's going to collect dirt and lint and we don't want that. So I pulled off that piece and this will happen. You see it didn't really quite get to all these spaces, but not to worry because you can always put the transfer foil onto that space that didn't fill and just keep rubbing it and removing it. Um, and um, if it is a tricky area and it's not adhering well, and I just like scratched some off there with my own nail. Um, when all else fails, you can put another layer, if you'd like, onto those spaces that are just not quite sticking and then try to put the foil on after that. Um, or you can just make it organic and leave it alone. Uh, in this case here, I have a French on like a bias. So I'm actually going to be covering some of this um, stuff because I'm going to paint a nice line dividing those two spaces so where it didn't really hit that's okay it's going to be covered um yes yeah, so don't fret if it doesn't work out the way that you want it to you can always fix it so i'm placing this foil again matte side down onto the nail and i'm putting it on that um, filigree that i did with the transfer foil nail gel and I'm hoping that it does come out. And as you can see, you can kind of see the filigree coming through because it's pulling off that foil. But um, when I do remove this though, it didn't take everything and it really didn't look like anything. So that's kind of a learning experience that you'll have to figure out as well. Again, it's not going to always turn out the way that you want it to, but you can always save it. Um... If you want to scrap it all together, you could possibly like just nail cleanse the whole surface and then buff the transfer foil nail glue out. Um, in this case here, I'm going to try to save it. So I, like I said, I am going to draw lines on there. And you see, because some of the, the lines that I drew on this um, nail here are just so skinny that the foil uh, doesn't want to come off. And adhere to that skinny line so um, yeah you're gonna learn that there's only so much you can do with the transfer foil nail gel I think it works better on larger surfaces but not too large to where not everything fills like the other nail did so here I happen to have some metallic drawing gel from born pretty again um, and I thought this would be a good color to draw a line between um, the marbling and the green space on this nail. So I'm just going to mix this up. It's the one thing with the metal gels, like it, um, it kind of, the particles want to separate. So I'm doing like this semi-mixed, you know, I'm kind of not really concerned about the color. I'm just trying to get the nail done. But yeah, I'm just going to draw a line. Um, separating these two spaces and hopefully the line will cover those bits that didn't um, come off uh, clean and no one will have ever noticed that it didn't come out that great <laughs> so I, I do like the subtlety of this marble um, I didn't know what I was going to do. I was just trying to do an example of how I can do my um, transfer foil nail glue stuff. And you know, I've used this for other things as well. To be honest, I've put my chrome powders on it uh, when I was frustrated with everything else that wasn't working. 
or you can just stick with the the foils all right so this one looks pretty messy but what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the metallic uh drawing gel and i'm just going to paint up some lines we're just going to put some lines in the middle of these little leaves here and hope for the best and that's pretty much all i think i can do for this you know um sometimes the organic look doesn't look terrible but <laughs> but um i think moving forward with this if i did this again i would make the lines a lot thicker so that the foils have something to grab on and it'll come out clean um and hopefully that'll work or maybe just not do that at all again <laughs> But again, like if I used a different foil, it might actually work. Um, it all depends. It's like uh, stamping. It, for anyone that's done nail stamping before, um, you know, plates from different brands are different. They are made differently and um, don't necessarily like perform the same from brand to brand. If you use the, um, the stamper, if you use the the card that they give you um it's all different brand to brand so you just gotta test it out and see what works what doesn't work and then eventually when you get the hang of it you'll be able to figure out what you can do again i don't really use this transfer foil stuff as much as i should i i love the idea of it i actually have some christmas ones that i'm dying to use um soon but um hopefully by then i can figure it all out <laughs> so that's the um born pretty super top coat that i just got in my um last pr unboxing and um for this nail it's pretty much done i'm just gonna put a coat of this on here and seal everything in you're gonna want to seal in the foil because it's not protected with anything and um, as you saw, like I scratched my, my nail on it and I removed a piece of that foil off. So if you don't protect your foil, you can accidentally scratch it on something or maybe whatever liquid you're using, it might wash it off. So um, yeah, I would put a coat of um, top coat over it to seal it in there. And I don't think that one turned out bad at all this one eh. <laughs> not so much but i think it's fine i think yeah maybe if you, once the top coat uh top coat is on there i think it's gonna look more organic and hopefully work for the nail um but you know it's fall the leaves are out of whack <laughs> But yeah, yeah, so probably not doing that again, or at least again, I'll probably have to adjust it, maybe make thicker lines as opposed to skinnier ones. But that's pretty much it, you guys. That's how I do my transfer foils. Again, leave any comments below for your thoughts, feedback, what you do, tips, tricks, anything like that would be helpful. But um, these are the two nails that I did today. Um, obviously I'm leaning more towards the French because I'm very proud of my filigree and my filigree looks like crap <laughs> in this nail. So, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's helpful to anyone using these transfer foils. So thank you so much for watching. This is Isms by Josie. Please share, like, and subscribe for future videos. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks. Bye.